Leon and Mathieu Valbuena received a hostile reception from the Marseille fans in the velodrome on Sunday night as they looked to stop their host's good home momentum. Michel's men had scored 10 goals in their two home games since the Spaniard took over as manager and he named the same team that had thrashed Bastia a week before. Valbuena started for Ube Fournier's visitors, going up against the club that he played for for eight seasons and he was involved in the first flashpoint of the match playing a lovely reverse pass into the path of Alexandre Lacazette and last season's Golden Boot winner was brought down by Steve Mondonda to give the striker the ideal chance to get off the mark this term. And Lacazette gobbled it up by striking hard and low into the corner meaning that he still only missed one of his 11 league gun attempts from the spot. His next chance was almost as good as a penalty but after collecting Corentin Tolisso's through ball in acres of space he contrived to hit the post. The atmosphere really started to heat up in southern France on the stroke of half-time when Roman Alessandrini went in late on Valbuena. Referee Rudy Bouquet brandished red in the winger's direction to the disdain of the home crowd, making their former hero Valbuena even more of a supposed villain. Angry remonstrations from the OM players were never going to be enough to sway the official's mind as Lyon went into half-time a goal to the good. With the tunnel arguments behind them, the players emerged for what would prove a controversial and elongated second half. The fired-up hosts belied their 10-man status as they threw everything at Lyon after Michi Batshuayi had shot wide with others better placed. Benjamin Mendy appeared to be fouled inside the area by Milan Bisevac. But when Bouquet booked Mendy for diving, the already confrontational atmosphere became vitriolic. Play had already been paused once for a couple of minutes after objects were thrown at Valbuena. This time, with glass bottles being thrown onto the pitch, the officials had no choice but to take the players off with the background sound of anger ringing around the stadium. Lyon owner Jean-Michel Ola called for the match to be abandoned but after a 21 minute delay play got back underway. And Marseille continued from where they'd left off. Bachoye played in half-time substitute Georges Kevan and Kudu, but Anthony Lopez did well to bravely smother the striker's shot. But the equaliser was coming and it arrived in the 68th minute. Abdelaziz Barada's corner was met by a bullet header from centre-back Karim Rekic. The ball wrong-footing Lopez to deservedly pull Marseille back onto level terms. But the away side refound their groove as their 10 man opponents tired. And Christophe Jale wasted a presentable chance by shooting straight at Mondonda. Unbelievably, there was still more drama to come as the match entered six minutes of injury time. The soap opera story of Valbuena almost had a fairy tale ending, but his volley swerved agonisingly wide to the delight of the home crowd. Marseille won, Lyon won the final score.